For as much as I'm talking about their works recently, Capcom and I aren't on very good terms. Yes, I'm one of the many feeling a bit raw about the cancellation of Mega Man Legends 3, as well as the release of a new Marvel vs. Capcom 3 less than a year after the original. I've got my reasons to be unhappy. But I can't just turn my back. Every time I even try to think about forsaking Capcom, a little voice pops up in the back of my mind, points a finger, and shouts in a strong, steady voice, OBJECTION! Phoenix Wright is the most beautiful logic puzzle you'll ever see. In its most basic form, you observe crime scenes, have words with the witnesses and other parties involved, gather evidence, hear testimony, cross-examine, jurisprudence at its finest. Except that whole part about the trial taking a maximum of three days, and that bastard Edgeworth doing anything in his power to screw with the facts. It may be a little more broken down and cynical than your standard law and order marathon, but thus is the realm of fiction. These restrictions and difficulties add tension and place the onus directly on your powers of reasoning. The burden of proof is on you. The defendant's freedom is in your hands. Any game can deal with life or death, but it takes something special to ask this level of involvement. My only gripe is that sometimes your own logic can get a little ahead of the courtroom action. A deduction you've made might need one more piece of supporting evidence to convince the judge, leading you to get an otherwise reasonable answer wrong. Even then, it's a rare occurrence, not game-breaking by any means, but if you're in the mood for perfect runs of absolute reason, you might get burnt once or twice. Part of the reason behind the game's success is its cast of characters. And characters they certainly are. From the sultry April May to the dyspeptic Wendy Oldbag, the corpulent Marvin Grossberg to the alarmingly gaunt Officer Meeks, it's a cartoon cast for a kangaroo court. Some inspire compassion, some inspire terror, and some you just want to break them on the stand to witness their destruction. Another significant aspect is the writing and localization. This game is almost all text, so it's critical to make that text not only readable, but enjoyable, and more so than anything else, logical, else the entire premise of a logic puzzle simply falls apart. I'm happy to say that Capcom have gone the distance, making the entire game relatable in the West while maintaining the game's fantastic sense of humor. The dialogue feels very natural, and each character's voice really comes through, despite next to no actual vocal work in the game. There are five trials to investigate, with the first being essentially a tutorial, and the last being a completely new case for the DS, incorporating mechanics that just weren't possible for the original GBA release in Japan. While each is completely self-contained, there's a significant overarching narrative dealing with the DL6 incident and its effect on Phoenix's mentor, Mia Fey. This storyline continues to develop through the other two games in the Phoenix Wright trilogy, Justice for All and Trials and Tribulations. Though Phoenix Wright itself is fairly low on action, the fandom is quite alive and kicking, so to speak, with all sorts of fan projects using the expressive artwork from the series. These are as wide and varied as the sense of humor in the game itself. Trawl around YouTube long enough and you're bound to find something to your liking. It's a testament to the idea that a game can survive on its writing and by reeling in the player with fantastic characters, some intriguing logic puzzles, excellent dramatic tension, and a boot to the head.